So these are preserved lemons um, that I made last year. And uh, you make them by packing them into a jar very tightly with salt and spices and lemon juice. And what you get is a very floppy, malleable piece of lemon. And you don't eat the um, pulp, you take that off. And this is the peel which you slice finely and you put it in dressings or tagines or it's very good for marinating olives with as well. And I really like to use the, the liquor also in dressings because it's very tasty. But bear in mind that it's quite salty, so when you're cooking whatever you're cooking, just go easy on the salt. I'm just going to sterilise these jars, and you can do that by just putting them in the oven at about 150 or something. So you can just do preserved lemons just with salt, but that's a bit boring. So we'll add some spices. Uh, we've got some bay leaves here, some little chilies from Spain called guindillas, some cinnamon, some black peppercorns, some allspice, and some cloves. Preserving is a, an ancient method using salt to preserve things. So in the olden days when people didn't have fridges and lemons were in season and they had a glut, they would preserve them and then they'd use them later on. Having quartered these lemons, I'm stuffing them with salt and spices and I'm packing them into jars. We'll see how many we can get into a jar. As many as you can. Really pack them down. Like that. You use these in tagines and um, you can also use them for marinating olives, green olives and preserved lemons. Really, really delicious. Or chicken tagine with green olives and preserved lemons I love. And also um, dressings. So I might do a preserved lemon dressing with some fish, say sardines, grilled sardines. It'd be really, really good. You pack these lemons down now and you add lots of lemon juice. And um, you may be shocked to see a jar of lemon juice, but I'm not about to squeeze that many lemons. And it's absolutely fine. So when you're going to put them to bed, so to speak, every day for a few days, just turn them and rotate the jar. You leave them for four to six weeks, four weeks on the very inside, but they keep for practically forever, really.